So apparently in answer to my question last week of did they or didn't they, the answer was they didn't. However, this week there's no ambiguity. They did. <laughs> This episode brings a twist to what other episodes have been like in that, in my mind, the stories closely match. No, it's not exactly the same, but what happens is very, very close. There just wasn't a big difference in what happened, there was just some difference in how they felt about what happened. The show has been very clever in wardrobing so far in that when Allison's telling her story, she has on one thing, and when Noah recounts what he thought happened, she's wearing something totally different, usually something that highlights her booty. However, in this episode, the clothing basically stays the same. The other big difference in this episode is that it feels like they told the whole story. Just the first half, Noah told, and the second half, Allison just picks up. So it was a shocking change to storyline, but very effective in that you thought they were just maybe gonna allude to them starting the affair. And when they cut away and come back to Allison's story, they're right in the middle of it. It seems as though they plan to start the affair this day by taking the ferry out to Block Island. They're just getting so sneaky. Hopefully next time they go on a secret rendezvous, they'll remember to take more cash so Helen doesn't find out with their credit cards. If they damage furniture, no one will be the wiser. The thing is, even on the island, they can't help but be worried about their spouse and their real life at home. Noah gets calls from Helen, and Allison gets text messages from Cole. They both feel conflicted about what they're doing, guilty even, but it doesn't stop them. One of the weirdest and most awkward moments is when Noah goes to the lighthouse by himself, and he tries to explain how he's a friend of Allison's, but she's really a friend of Helen's. Oh yeah, the two met at yoga class. And then the docent goes into a ramble about how people should be having sex instead of doing yoga. No worries, ma'am. No, it doesn't do yoga. If nudity is an issue for you, the best option here is to DVR the episode and then keep your finger on the fast forward button, because there are some steamy, steamy scenes. Too bad they don't rent hotels by the hour in Montauk. One of the only disagreements in the storyline, which wasn't really that significant, was that Allison and Noah have a big conversation about some shipwreck off the island. I don't know if this was a significant difference or not. A kiss though, and that's nice. Sadly, since this episode was more unified in the storyline, I don't think it warranted a game of he said, she said. Yeah, I know, I'm sad too. Thankfully, there was someone who was inconsistent in both of their stories, and that was the interrogator. Noah goes out to take a break from his questioning. He's on the phone with his son, Trevor. The interrogator comes out all sympathetic because he lost his two kids to his wife in the divorce too. He just knows what Noah's going through. Through. Wait a minute, Noah's divorced from Helen? And when Allison goes outside for a smoke break and is all angst-ridden on the phone, the interrogator comes out to comfort her by talking about his long 25-year marriage. Um, excuse me, you're supposed to be on the side of the law. That means telling the truth is your job. Their time on the island is cut short when Allison clams up during you-know-what. Noah, of course, thinks it's all his fault and that he may be clumsy. No, it's not you, Noah. It's because she has issues. The episode ends with Allison opening up about her son drowning and about her cutting herself. Of course, the entire confession happens in Noah's family minivan. The two come to an understanding, and since Cole's away, these two will play at her house in her bed. This episode felt very foundational and somewhat separated from the rest of the series. I hope that next week they're back to the original format so we can play He Said, She Said. Plus, now that the affair has actually started, I want to see how everything plays out back at Montauk.